NASA has just dropped its latest findings on our changing climate. Meteorologist Tyler Morris speaks with a chief scientist at NASA to break down the numbers. For decades, NASA and NOAA have been keeping an eye on Earth's climate. Each year, they release an update, and now the numbers are in for 2022. Here to talk about that work and where last year ranks is NASA's chief scientist and senior climate advisory, Dr. Kate Calvin. All right, so let's dive right into the data. Where exactly did 2022 end up in terms of global temperature? For NASA, 2022 tied for the fifth warmest year. Collectively, the last nine years have been the warmest since modern record keeping began. In terms of numbers, global mean temperatures were 1.1 degrees Celsius or about two degrees Fahrenheit above the late 19th century average. We throw out these rankings and numbers, but what does it mean to the everyday Floridian or for the average U.S. Uh, citizen? With increases in temperature, we're experiencing other changes in the Earth. We see increases in sea level and that has impacts on coastal communities like those in Florida. Uh, we're seeing more extreme events, heat waves, wildfires, heavy precipitation events, stronger hurricanes. So a more proportion of storm of hurricanes are categories three through five than we would have seen without climate change. Yeah, you mentioned that. In fact, here in Tampa, we had the warmest year on record for 2022 and an active hurricane season with Ian being the third costliest. So where else in the world are we seeing these high rates of changes and warming? So we're seeing changes all around the world. We see more warming over land than over ocean, more at higher latitudes than lower latitudes. We have scientists around the world that are studying that. And so we're um, working to provide information to communities so they know what's happening, where they live and, and can help respond to it. So the past nine years, they've been the warmest years since modern record keeping began mm -hmm. in 1880. A lot more information about that on 10tampabay.com as well as Tyler's full extended interview on our YouTube channel on 10 Tampa Bay.